Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here back with more Shadow Gun Legends. In today's video, we got PvP, Team PvP action. It's an elimination game, just happened minutes ago. I was recording everything, I was doing live commentary, and at the end of the game, it was my first game of the day, I realized my mic was muted, so I had to show you guys. You see the screen freeze at the start, my squad disconnected. I was just queuing duels with Kush, uh, just wanted to chill and do some PvP. So we end up three players, Versus, I don't know exactly how many at the start, but uh, probably some guys left also. Uh, but I think there were at least three guys at the start. Anyways, so look at the damage in the back with Nico. It's pretty crazy. Uh, I got the revive and the shotgun guy in the front. I survived that and revive again. Reviving is really important in elimination uh, because it's your number of respawns. When you, when you revive your teammate, it will not respawn. It will just get back in the action and you're not losing a respawn. Anyways couple quick kills at the start and yeah you see there's three guys at least the anubis guy he will leave uh miller scq but the other two guys stayed until the end so we, we end up 3v2 i got a killing spree here so i was four kills in a row pretty hot wanted to stay focused and trying to go for a kill streak you know these juggernaut ribbons are very hard to get it's 10 kills without dying and i only have eight of these ribbons uh since i played shadow gun legends i don't play a lot of team pvp but it only happened eight times so another kill here and another one uh this anubis guy and he got revived i killed the wrong guy but still when i can get the damage in the back with the build i'm using 12 agility the numbers are very high 40 38 uh usually guys have 150 or something so when you get big chunks of damage like that uh, you get the kill, right? So if I can get damage in the back, I will try to go for it. So anyways, I'm on a kill streak right now, trying to stay alive and also trying to keep my teammates alive. So I got another one here. Primary kills ribbon, doesn't matter. But there's another killing spree. So I know I'm at 8 and this was not supposed to happen. I was gonna throw the nade at the door, but the guy got in front. So I'm at 9, I wanna get the last one and I go for it. And I use my deflector skin because I don't want to die. I'm at 9 kills. And there you go. Juggernaut Ribbon uh, one more time. It's only my ninth Juggernaut Ribbon ever. But yeah, I was at 9. And I could not die there. So I used my deflector skin. It was a bad deflector skin. But just to save my kill streak, uh, I decided to use it. But guys, it's not over. There's more, right? So I keep going. Got a couple more kills here at the door. My teammate's using Sentry Gun. It's not bad at all guys, sentry gun in team PvP, I see more and more of these. Uh, I got an assist there. I shoot a lot through the door and there's 14, I should be at 14 right? If I got another killing spree, Man, I don't know how they count the kills because that would be 15 and uh, you will see in a moment uh, my first death of the game, <laughs> believe it or not, you, won't, you will not believe how I got my first death of the game. But anyways, I thought I was at 15 kills for some reason because the killing spree ribbon three times that would be Maybe that would be 12, right? 12, 13 Yeah, probably I messed up. Probably I'm at 13. I don't know why I count. Anyways, I was in trouble So I jumped in the pit and I died. I was at 14 kills. So 14 kills and I died to I don't know if it's a stupid mistake, but I was gonna die on the bridge anyways. So I had the reflex to just jump down and I died to the gas. Man, like I said, I don't play enough PvP to know which side is the right side, but if you jump on the right side, there's a platform there and you're not taking damage, right? When you're near, when you're near the jump pad, uh, you will stay alive. You can stay there the whole game if you want. And then you can jump back up if you want. So, uh, yeah, pretty unfortunate way to die. And then I felt pretty confident. I was going aggressive. Usually, I'm not so confident in team PvP. I stay in the back a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I was, I was going for the action. And I died to sentry gun here because, I don't know, I was already, uh, I took a lot of damage. I wanted to go for the nade. And I exposed myself to the sentry and I died. So, sentry gun seems to be dealing a lot of damage, guys. Uh, when you get hit, you you feel it, right? So um, I died another time, and look at the feed here. Three quick kills, because uh, I got the kill, and then the revive and the double kill. 
But since I only have two opponents, I cannot find um, the Rampage Ribbons. Uh, you need to kill four enemies in eight seconds. So I just got three quick kills, but there's no one else to kill. They got to revive somewhere around the map, and it takes more than eight seconds uh, to find them and kill them again, right? So uh, it's tough to get Rampage. I think I got like, I don't know, nine Rampage Ribbons or something. We can look at the end. But some of these team PvP ribbons are very hard uh, to get, alright? So Juggernaut, 10 kills without dying, you need a bit of luck. It's not, I mean, for some skilled players, it's nothing. They get it every day, right? But for someone like me who doesn't play a lot of PvP, I guess if you play every day, it's just gonna happen. And I'm guessing you need a good build also, guys. Um, I'm playing a lot of survivability, the explosion resistance and stuff. It really helps surviving the grenades and... Uh, the rocket launchers. I didn't see rocket launchers this game though Anyway, so 10 3 now the available respawns um, and uh, Yeah, the sentry gun again this time. I was more careful. I tried to kill the sentry gun still took a lot of damage Went around the back quick kill. I don't know who damaged him. Maybe it was my grenade He was trying to flank and I was trying to flank we came uh, face to face and I wanted to finish that one also Anyways, a lot of action for me in this game. My best game ever, probably. You'll see the stats at the end. But 25 kills in, in the elimination game. For me, um, it's a personal best for sure. And when I play with my friends, usually they're just so good that I am always behind. You guys have seen the live streams, right? I'm always behind. I, I try to get action. I try to get into the action. Whenever I see something, it's already dead. I shoot, it's dead. Uh, I have a tough time getting five, six kills in a game. But now I end up with some randoms. They have one and two kills um, against randoms. I'm not playing against the like top top teams in the game, you know. But still, um, there's an AM bomb, and uh, I was able to survive. I don't know how. Um, the guy threw the bomb, I killed him. I thought it was the end of the game, by the way. But they still had one respawn. So I was running forward and the AM bomb was in the back. I took two ticks. It's like uh, it ticks, right? For a lot of damage. Tick, tick, tick. And uh, yeah, I, I survived the AM bomb. Probably because I was far away. Uh, and I didn't get one of the, the three ticks that I needed to die or something. Anyway, so zero respawns. Uh, trying to find the last guy and here it is and that will be the last kill of the game in elimination 25 kills uh, post in the comments below what's your best game ever I know some guys got 40 kills I saw on uh, on Facebook I think Kulda uh, Massacrator these guys has like 35 38 40 kills probably um, I mean if the, the enemy team revive a lot you can get a lot of kills in elimination right or some guys farm uh, in Ascendancy, they don't pick up the trophies and they can get a lot of kills uh, in the available time. So that's it, nine Juggernaut Ribbons. I need a lot more, you need 25 for the medal. I'm not even halfway there, but almost. Uh, I was talking about Rampage also, it's a pretty tough one to get. Um, four kills in eight seconds and I only got seven of these. And I guess you need luck or the right situations. But you see the medals, right? It's just PvP stuff I need. Untouchable. Finish a duel without taking any damage. I got one more in my previous video yesterday. And then uh, Deadshot. Win a duel with four headshots. That's also... Uh, right, for me, I need a bit of luck, alright? Anyways, guys. Hope you enjoyed the PvP video. Leave me a comment below. Leave a like if you did. And tell me if you want to see more PvP action, what you want to see next. It was a suggestion in the comments yesterday. Uh, you guys wanted me to play random queue in Team PvP. So it was not random queue, but it happened to be a random game anyway. Once again, this is the build I use, 12 and 8, because I don't want to respect right now. I'm doing a lot of dungeon farming still, and I like this build. But still, the damage in the back is pretty insane. And my crit is not even on lock on my legs yet. So that will be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care.